Hey guys, so this is um, 6, 18, 23, uh, 103 in the morning. So there's four topics. Uh, words will cease, the few, be warned, and anointed. So the first one was at 103 in the morning, and um, in the Greek that's to sing, and in the Hebrew it is to harvest or gather. I thought that was appropriate for what um, the words turned out to be. So number one, I am, that day will come, that day is near that I send my angels for Julie, the one before you. These words I give will cease. I will bring her here to Gabo with me. Gabo is my holy mountain, the mountain of God, the tall mountain of the mighty and the faithful. It is a high honor reserved for but a few to touch my holy mountain. I have many servants. They are all very precious to me, but a few heroes of renown will come to Gaboa. I call them my anointed. Most Christians are going to Mount Zion, Christ's mountain. This is also a high honor. There are many places in heaven, all sacred, all amazing. The few at Gaboa are all the same. They were not held in high esteem by man, but they lived an extraordinary life for me. You call them the fathers of the faith, people like Abraham and Sarah, Noah, Moses, Deborah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Paul, Peter, John. These that were my examples, these that I held in high esteem, even though they were not elevated by their peers, they hold prominent leadership positions in the eternal system. They have important tasks that feed, fuel, encourage, edu and educate my people. Everyone hopes they are one of these leaders. It is but a few over time that I place my hand upon. All of the anointed that come to me will train with me and with each other. Achievements to come. These special ones will be trained and in place so that they can spread my light and my word and send out my holy workers to change the world for me. They will have various roles and bring my flock and the half-borns and the lost sheep in. Their coordinated efforts will be the structure that so many others will be able to work my miracles through. Just like Moses and Aaron, they led my people out of Egypt. These called soon to Geboa will lead mine home. Rejoice. When Julie disappears, when her words stop for three days, this is after the human uprising begins, your redemption draws nigh. Hold on through the siftings and trouble that may arise in your path. All of mine are refined by fires and tested for purity. Those already tested know how this refines, purifies, and brings a deeper faith in me. In every step forward, follow me. In every challenge, cry out to me. Trust me. In every blessing, proclaim, I am the source. In every opportunity, claim Jesus is the one and only Messiah. Recall that the kings only care for themselves and power. Do not be tempted in these last moments before the rapture to follow a man. Follow the Lord your God. I am the only. Keep firm in your steps with every day. Renew yourself in me. Keep your focus on me. I am am the protector and provider if i could get the entire hebrew people out of egypt surely i can rescue you remember my mighty acts my holy miracles remember and trust me the war for your mind spirit and soul will soon begin in earnest those that are fully mine will not be able to be snatched out of my hand but mine will be a target by the enemy Stay fully suited. Bring your troubles to me and ask for help. Pray with sincerity. Hear my voice and I will guide you through. What is to come will be brief. Keep your joy by focusing on me and your hope of what is to come. Recall I love you and have a place prepared for you. Recall my faithfulness. I will sustain all with true faith. The next one I got was at... Um, 1.45 in the morning and literal lightning shook the house. And then the Hebrew for that is, for 1.45, is goodly splendor. 
a mantle or a robe. And then the Greek is judgment by the senses. So people that can use their senses to understand what's going on around them. Number two, there are a few leaders in Gaboa, but there are more in, that are anointed, a handful that are chiefs and leaders of groups and even smaller. They are anointed too. They will be leaders over the faithful and others. Much like Moses had a leadership structure, my system of leadership also has layers of command. These have been chosen. They will be readied here. Those eligible are those only who understand my methods to lead. Those that have preferred the leadership of this world, I have no need of. In order to bring about the spread of the gospel quickly, just before and just after the rapture, I have my anointed leaders who will facilitate large numbers of workers. Together, we will spread my holy light and my Holy Spirit across the world and rescue as many as can be rescued. I want none to perish. I want all to come to heaven and live in the land of milk and honey and the land of truth. I leave my plans here to guide. Chaos will come to your doorstep. Choices will be made. Choose wisely. Okay, the third one I got with another literal lightning. Uh, but it was in the second sentence. So I'll tell you when that lightning shows up. But let me tell you what um, 152 in the Greek and the Hebrew mean. 152 in the Greek is dishonesty and shame. And in the Hebrew, it is Adramalek, which is the name of an Assyrian idol. Then I was given the understanding at that point that this is the literal um, satanic spirit, this idol, that gives people the ability to seem like they are God's prophet, but it is false prophecy. Um, it is this exact spirit. So I've always wondered that, like, how do you know who's true and whatever? There is a specific spirit that mimics God's prophecies, and I was given that information. Pretty cool. So be warned. The time is soon approaching that I will dry up my words from my true prophets. Three days after the last words you hear from Julie, lightning hits, I will have no more on the earth who publicly speak my words. All who are left are not of me. By the end of the third day, all of the anointed whom I choose to be in leadership, whom I choose to bring home will be with me. Hear my voice. Follow it independently. I will lead you by my words, me alone, speaking with you. Those who listen to me will be protected and provided for. Those who listen to man will have challenges to help them drop to their knees and finally hear me. Be warned. Understand my holiness. Find me now. Read my words. Time will not stop. The kings have already made plans that cannot be undone. I have removed my hand from stopping them. The days to wait until all of mine are here are few. I will come quickly. I will send Jesus, my son, into the clouds to collect his own. To the world, it will be but a flash and all will change. For those being raptured, you will be warned just before. For you to be raptured, you will see Jesus and life will seem impossible the time finally here you will wonder determine now to let all of your old things and responsibilities go keep your eyes on jesus face as he lifts you up to him to bring you home to heaven do not look back like lot's wife my worthy children my faithful ones even though to the world it will be but a flash to you, it will be a long moment. You will be able to savor the details. You will see others being sent up around you. The unbelievable reality you have been awaiting will finally arrive. When you see his face, all else will not matter. His love will overtake you. And the next chapter of your life, eternal life, will begin. These are the words of the Lord. These words are true. The soon rapture of the church is coming. Number four, this is to the anointed. Anointed, the time draws near. You can see it. You hear my voice and Holy Spirit and the urgency. You keep your eyes stayed on me. 
Many distractions are about to arise. Pray fervently for one another. The challenges will increase for a few moments before you come. For most, this has already begun. Stand in awe at me and stay in worship. This will see you through. Use the skills you have developed with me in prayer, wisdom, and listening to me as you proceed each step from here until Julie sends for your pickup are essential. Tread your last days in this form with love, kindness, and in quiet submission to my plan. Trust me. Even though the enemy will be at your door with distractions and attacks, overcome evil with good. Be kind to one another. Stomp down darkness with prayer, scripture, and worship. The days dwindle until the day, the day the dark words of the king are spoken. Be alert, for after this, the enemy will be out in troops looking for prey to devour that are not armed in me. Stay in your spiritual armor and do not let the enemy have a single opening to bring you torments. Recall you have my full power and then use it. Begin praying in earnest today. Prepare your hearts to see me. Prepare yourselves in prayer to defeat the enemy. Do not give them one inch of territory. Get them on the run. Discombobulate them and pray them back into the pit. I will never fail to keep you safe with my holy angels. Soon you will see your angels and they will bring you to me. I rejoice to see you. I rejoice for the ways I will use you for the kingdom to bring the church home. Hallelujah. The soon reign of Jesus the Messiah, King Jesus, is but days away. I hope you find that encouraging and I'll see you next time.